my name is Mark Bermarco. I'm an entertainer. And I've known Philip Woolley Stack for most of his life, in fact, all of his life. Of course, we parted ways. I, you know, when he was a little kid, and we met again when he became an adult to find him becoming an entertainer and working in the music industry, doing a compilation of culture and contemporary music, theatre, composing and chanting and dancing. And he's a whole a lock, stock and barrel, I guess, of a cultural experience of Australia. He's mentored by some uh, very important people around him, so he's very fortunate to have people like Dr. Richard Wally, who's an internationally acclaimed didgeridoo player. Of course, myself in, in my character, and also mentoring him and guiding him because of his aspirations to become a successful recording artist and performer. He draws on his Noongar heritage, and uh, the Noongar people, the traditional owners of the southwest of Western Australia. One thing about Phil is you can you can teach someone to act, but you can't give them success. But this fella here said, I'm going to be successful. So he took, unlike many others, he took full responsibility for his own success. What I think his message is, given Noongar spirituality and music, a voice and, and a strength through fusion with something as powerful as ballet. So that, um, that incorporates really well, like even the music, the dig and the cello go perfectly well together. And you wouldn't think and they the would. And the dance, the dancing is yeah. really similar, similar. Some of the dancing of indigenous dance and ballet, some movements are just strikingly similar that you, you just think, wow. And it's the same with the music, the didgeridoo, you get the right key, you get the right, the right cello, the right, the right anything, maybe the right beats. And, I just love, the first time I heard Philip and his music, I was just like, bro, you got to burn me a CD, man. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, loving it.